Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For a new video, this is a meal planning video. It, this planner is from the Recollections line. I got it years ago, but I'm sure they have something similar still. Now, we've been trying to get back on track with our eating and making sure it's as whole food plant based as possible and incorporate green juices and things like that. And I'm also a nanny and part of why we've been going off so much uh, is that I have access to less healthy food, which leads to a less healthy food spiral. And I'm also preparing food for the kids uh, when I can. So I want to make sure I'm being more intentional with planning the meals for the children. So to start off, I'm going to do the top row for me and Lex and the bottom row is for nannying. So on Monday morning, I'm going to do a farro bowl. Farro, it's a grain and then you cook it and you can add nuts and seeds and dried fruit and real fruit and just some almond milk on top and it satisfies that cold cereal craving. And for Lex, I'm gonna do a green juice because I don't think the farro bowl would be for him. For lunches, we're going to do pizza pockets and fries. These are healthy versions, uh, vegan versions of those, and lentil soup. And then for dinner, it is a tempeh sandwich. And that evening, or that day, I have off nannying. I said in the evening because I'm used to splitting it up top and bottom from day and night. On Tuesday, I'm going to make a beet juice with some beets I have in the fridge another farro bowl, pizza pockets, and a garden veggie soup. For the kids, I just put down flakes and smoothie. Um, usually they have eaten by the time I'm there or they wake up shortly after I get there. So it's usually what they choose uh, from their dry cereal selection. And I try to make a smoothie, which the youngest will drink and the oldest won't, but I can turn it into popsicles that she will eat. And then in, I wanted to let them build their own pizza pockets. I feel like she doesn't trust me all the time with the food I cook because she knows I'm trying to make her eat healthy. Um, so I'm gonna let her put the ingredients in and hopefully get her to have healthy choices. Then for Wednesday, I put down a fruit and yogurt for breakfast. Um, and then for Maddie, it could be flakes or a peanut butter sandwich, depending on what she chooses. For lunch, we're doing tostadas. Um, I put tostada sandwich because I was going to put two layers, but instead I did one assembled tostada and one sort of deconstructed where they could just eat the rice and the different toppings on their own. And so we were gonna also do tostadas for dinner that evening. So I basically meal prepped, um, did the, the rest of the meal prep I had to do during the day with the kids. And then in the evening was able to bring it home and just throw it together really quickly for us. And then for lunch, it was soup leftovers from the week. I decided to then go over to this column that I like that they leave it pretty blank because you can use it a variety of ways. You can put, put your shopping list there. Or for me, I decided I wanted to put down the meal plan recipes that I had left that I could choose from. And I could also just for me, what I would want to do is put down things that I need to use up and make sure I incorporate them into the week. For Thursday, I put hummus as a snack because there was a hummus recipe in the meal plans. And I've started really breaking apart the meal plans even more than they are because sometimes there will be a salad and a soup or a salad and a sandwich. And instead of having them together, I can separate them and have an extra meal that week that could be my lunch or my dinner because we don't need that much food per serving. We're trying to have smaller servings because it's hard to portion control. Moving on into the rest of the week, I stopped going day by day and instead plugged in the recipes that I had written in the sidebar that I knew I still had left to make sure we got to those. So we had leftover tostadas and a barbecue mac and cheese and a specific salad. And then I was able to come up with my own ideas for breakfast, snacks, and whatnot with what I knew we already had. So I had just a peanut butter sandwich for the kids for breakfast because that's the type of thing that they 
will eat and I wanted to make a chocolate chia seed pudding. I actually ended up not making it, but it ended up being a coincidence that their mom had bought a pudding mix. It's not the healthy pudding that I would have made for them, but we did still put in chia seeds, which makes it a little healthier. Uh, and the mac and cheese, which they ate, which is so exciting because that is from my meal plans healthier. I do put a little bit of regular cheese on top for them just to ease them into different types of vegan cheeses. Um, I think it just unnerves them if they know it's not exactly what they're used to, even if they like the flavors, um, which is fair. Even grown-ups have that experience. And I knew I had some oranges I needed to use up, and I've been using the juicer from the family that I nanny because they're about to have their kitchen renovated, and they were just trying to clear out some of their kitchen space, so they let me borrow it for the foreseeable future. And then I knew I had to use up some of the farro that I had, and so I was going to have another farro bowl. And then I knew that there was going to be leftovers and various items that still needed to be used up in my fridge, so I just put leftovers or meal prep for Saturday and Sunday to see where my fridge was at at the end of the week. I've been trying to wait longer to order groceries and actually clear out my fridge instead of uh, allowing some food to accidentally get shoved to the back and I forget about it when I would have eaten it. Um, because now that groceries are less scarce, I can just place an order and not worry about it. I had been ordering groceries two weeks out and now no need, no need. All right. So I thought that this would be a great video to share with you guys and let me know if you want to see more of them. I've been doing it this way for a couple weeks and it's definitely helped me get back on track with my eating. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.